good morning students last class we saw the lesson on counting by thousands and ten thousands i hope you completed your homework yes one now we will going to see the lesson 2 place face value and value here we talking about a five digit numbers so yesterday itself we saw five digit numbers as five places ones everything we want to start from right hand side so ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands this is an abacus in abacus they will this is the abacus diagram in this they will write uh, here see they given 5 6 3 7 3 so how will you read ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand so 37 365 so in ones place what number is here 5 so they will put 5 circle 1 2 3 4 5 5 circle next in ten how much is there 6 so they will put 6 circles in hundreds place 3 so there will be 3 And thousands place it seven. There will be seven. And ten to place three. So there will be three circle. <coughs> Suppose if they give one abacus like this, they tell you to write the number. It's easy to write a number like this. Now, now five digit numbers are they divided into periods. There are two periods. One is ones period and another one is thousands period. Which means you return now in this example. In this, this periods means it's separated by comma. So now this five six three. This is one period. Seven and three. This is another period. This we called a ones period and seven and three we will called a thousands period see they give an example thousands period is 3 and 7 ones period is hundreds tens ones this 3 in ones period this 10000 and thousands in thousands period so when we are writing like this this is called the standard form there is a standard form And we able to write it in number name. Now we will see the place. Place means suppose in this example they find they will give they will put any dash to a number five. Five in which place means place of a number means where it is located. Five it is in ones place. So the place of a five is ones. like that you want to write the answer and face value face value means what number is there that is the face value if 5 is there means answer is 5 so face value remains same and they will ask value see here see write the place face value and value of the underlying digit they will give like that so value means in which digit is underlined you want to multiply the face value and place of its you will get a value for example they given in the number 37365 in this if they will put line for underline for 7 now they will ask write the place face value and value of the 7 means place in which place it is there this is ones Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. So someone in the which place? Thousands. Face value. Face value means what I told it will be remain always. It means seven. Face value seven is seven only. And value. Value means what I told. Multiply the place and face value. So face value is what seven. Place is thousand, so seven into thousand is seven thousand. I will write and show you the one example, so you guys can understand this easily. I can write eighty-five. 
8006 first how will you read this number here is 73658 so they will give line like this first how will you read this number it will be ones place tens hundreds thousand ten thousand now this it is separated by comma so the periods are separated by comma now this 3 in the ones place and 8 and 5 is in the thousands place now they will put underline like that then will they will tell you to write the place face value and value of the underlined digit so first i want to find the place then i want to find the face value then i want to find the value first place place means what i told which place it is located so ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousands <coughs> so place what is the answer is ten thousands now face value face value means what i told it will remain same which number it underline eight so face value means eight only don't want to change anything then given value value means what i told multiply the face value and place value so face value is what 8 so put value means multiply this to 8 into 10000 so you can write 10000 so 8 into 10000 means 8 ones are 8 just put remaining 0 as it is so if they tell you to find place value, face value, value means that's this. The place means which place it is located. Face value means same value. Value means multiply this to you will get the answer. They will give example like this. They will tell you to change the place of 6 to the higher place. So to the higher place means what? Now, first read ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. Suppose if they tell you to convert into the higher place or ten thousand place, if they ask you to change the place, means before that you want to know what is the value, place, and face value. So, your place is now six in which place, thousands place. They will ask you to change the to 10,000 place and find the new value they ask you to find the new value means how you want to write this now the question is 16,000 place they tell you to convert to 10,000 place so if the, they ask you to find the value what I want to do value means 6 into 10,000 because in question they ask you to convert convert 6 into 10,000 place 10,000 place and they will ask you to find the new value so new value means what value means product of place into face value so they given 6. So 6 is the face value. Place value is 10,000. So multiply 6 into 10,000 is 60,000. Therefore, value of 6 now is 60,000. And the same question they will tell you to convert 6 into 100's place. And they will tell you to find the new value. So value means what? Place into face value. Here place how much they given hundreds. Face value is they given six. So value equal to 
six into hundreds means hundred. So therefore, value equal to six hundred. This is your S two. Find the place, face value, and value. If you have doubt, you will see one more example also. Write the place, face value, and value of the underlying digit in fifty-six thousand four hundred two. They given like this. For example, consider zero. Zero the underline. First find place. Place means in which place it is there. Ones, tens, under thousand, ten thousand. So zero is in tens. Value means what? Same value zero. See zero is in tens. Face value means zero. Value value means you want to multiply this to zero into ten. If you multiply zero with any number, you will get. Zero. Then S two is your homework. Place, face value, and value. Every day you have to put date. In which date I am giving the homework now? Circle the digit at the highest highest place. A C ones, tens, hundreds. In this, which is the highest place? Left hand side you will be is your highest place. So you want to circle that ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Ones, tens. One stands hundred thousand. Highest place always in be left hand side. You just have to circle. Next. Now draw beads to each number on the abacus. Write the place, face value, and value of the underlying digit in each number. So abacus, it is fourteen thousand three hundred forty-five. The underlying number is four. You want to draw an abacus? How I told you to draw. See, this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousands. So ones place how many is there? Five. You want to draw five circle. Tens place how many? Four. Hundreds place three. Thousand place four. Ten thousand place one. Like that. Here question is there. Like that you want to draw face value. Face value. Which number they underline? Four. So face value of four is what you want to write. Now place of four, then value of four you have to write. Like that, you want to write for all these sum. Check the place of eight in seventy thousand two hundred nine and write the new value of the digit. It is given. See, change the place of eight to the ten thousand place. Now it's in thousand. If I change to ten thousand place, what is the value? Now it is in eighth place. Eight. You want to convert to hundreds place. So find the what is the value. Just how I done like this. Like this, you want to do. Now, lesson two is over. We will go for lesson three. <laughs> lesson three is expanded form and number name. Already you know to write standard form. Standard form means using the comma and you are writing. For example, standard form is that if you write return like this. Command all you put so thirty seven thousand three hundred sixty five is the standard form. That number itself you want to write the expanded form and number name. First, we will see what is mean by expanded form. Expanded form is a number return as the sum of values of all its digits. They given in figure three. C standard form. They put comma so. This full ones, this full thousands place, twenty three thousand seven hundred eighty six. This you want to write expanded form. So expanded form you can write it in three ways. <laughs> How will you write this expanded form? Means you want to multiply the face value and place. Example, you see. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousands. Now, two in which place? Ten thousand place. Two into ten thousand. Then you want to put plus. Next, what number? Three. Three in which place? Thousands place. So, three into thousand. Again, you want to put plus. Then seven. Seven in which place? Hundred. So. Seven into hundred plus 
each term you have to put plus then you want to write face value into place so here 8 8 in its place 10 place so plus 8 into 10 plus 6 in the ones place 6 into 1 or 6 which means or you can write 2 ten thousand plus 3 thousands plus 7 hundreds plus 8 tens plus 6 ones this is in words you are written mostly they will you have to write like this this is easy to understand in the higher classes also so 2 in 10,000 is 20,000 3 into 1000 is 3000 7 into 100 is 700 8 into 10 is 86 like this you want to write <laughs> now and if you return in the words if they give number like this then you return in the words means that is called the number name expanded form means you want to write like this number name means you want to write it in the words take the example 2 3 comma 7 8 6 so now you read ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand so how will you read this 23,000 like this you want to write it in the words 23,000 now 786 so 786 is this is called number name so we will take an example then we will write and see we will take the hmm, So they will give like this, tell you to write it in the expanded form. So expanded form is, first you see what number is given in the place, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So how will you read this number? 56,412. Now 5 in the which place? 10,000 so 5 and you want to put remaining everything put 0 50,000 now what symbol you want to put plus 6 in the each place 1 stands under 1000 now 6 in the 1000 place put 6 then how many 0 you want to put after 6 how many digits are there 3 so you can put 3 0 then you put plus 4 is in which place? 1's, 10's, 100's. So 4 in the 100's place. So you have to put 4, 100. So 4, 100, 2, 0. Then you want to plus put 1. 1 in the 10's place. So 1, 0, 10. 2 in the 1's place, you put 2 like this. This is the expanded form. Now we will see how you want to write number name so to write it in the number name you want to know the spelling of the numbers here see how will you read this number 56,412 because this is 1's 10's 100's 1000 10,000 please so 56,412 you want to know the 56,000 6400 see the thousand hundred spelling you should read the spelling properly so 56412 they give the number like that mean you have to write expanded form and number name means like this you should write and you want to read the thousand spelling, hundred spellings carefully. And they will ask you to write, they will give in the number name, they will ask you to write it in the numbers. For example, if they give like this 56,412, write it in the standard form, they will ask. How will you write it in the standard form? First you want to read 
what is that 56,000 so 56 just put 56 after what is a thousand thousand means put comma then 412 4 and 12 1 2 check uh, you got correct answer and they will ask you to write this expanded form in the write the expanded form in the standard form same how will you write this is just you add if they given like that you want to add you know normal addition night 50,000 6,000 how will you want to put start from right hand side 0 6,000 then 400 400 you not supposed to start here start from here 0 0 4, 400 then 10 0 1 then 2 afterwards you want to add what you will get 0 0 0 2 so you will get 2 then 1 here is 4 6 5 so 56 4412 see and next your homework is S3 for S2 and S3 put 2 days date here and you write Write the expanded form and number name of the number. They given here. If you have doubt, you refer your content book. How to write the expanded form number name. See, I saw it now. If they give a number like that, you want to write expanded form and number name like that. You want to write here. Now, write the number, expanded form and number name for each number shown on the abacus. So abacus is they given like that. Now we want to write number. How will you write number? Just you want to count in one's place. How many circle is there? You have to count and write in one's place. Tens place. Hundred is two. So two thousands place. Ten thousand place. You want to write number in this. After writing, then you have to find the expanded form. For this number what you return, you want to write the expanded form and number name. Same as you want to write for this abacus. How much circle is there you have to count and write. How much, how much is there? 3. Tens 3. Under 2. Thousands 4. 10,005. So it will come 54,233. Then write the expanded form and number name. Now you see. Third question, write the standard form of each number. So standard form is, if given like that, you want to add. How I show you to add like this, you have to add. Then, this is 91,421. You have to solve. So today's homework is, you have to complete S2 and S3. Then send to me. Thank you.